Now let's come to the muscles of the medial compartment. Let's start off again with the floor of the femoral triangle. The medial part of the floor of the femoral triangle, we see a muscle here. This is the adductor brevis. This is the full extent of the adductor brevis where my finger is located. And my finger has gone under the adductor brevis here. This is the adductor brevis. Just under the adductor brevis, we have this muscle here. Reflect this one here, reflect this. This muscle that we see here under the adductor brevis, this is the adductor longus. And I have lifted it up here. This is the muscle which forms the lat medial boundary of the femoral triangle. Adductor brevis forms the floor of the femoral triangle. This also gets inserted onto the linea aspera, the middle one third of the linea aspera. And when I go further later, medially and posterior medially, I see yet one more very big muscle. This muscle here. This is the adductor magnus. So if I were to look sequentially, we see first the adductor brevis here. My finger has picked it up. Then just under that, this is the adductor longus. And then further posterior medially, this big muscle, this is the adductor magnus. These are the three important muscles of the medial group. They are all supplied by the obturator nerve and they are all adductors of the hip. The adductor longus tendon takes origin from the front of the body of the pubis where my finger has disappeared. And in riders who ride for many years, they can develop a heterotopic calcification on the tendon and that is known as rider's bone. This adductor magnus has got two components. One is the adductor component, which is visible here, and which gets inserted onto the linea aspera. And there's also a hamstring component, which is further posteriorly, which is not visible in this dissection. We will trace the insertion of this adductor magnus tendon, part of the tendon here. And we can see the tendon here. And if we trace the tendon, we can see it is getting inserted onto a bony prominence on the medial condyle of the femur. And this bony prominence is called the adductor tubercle. So this tendon that we feel here, this tendon, is the adductor tendon. And this is where we can tap with a knee hammer to produce what is known as the adductor reflex. So this is about the adductor magnus. We still have one more muscle which is visible, superficial to the adductor magnus. And we can see, I have lifted it up here. We can see that it's a very thin, delicate, and graceful muscle. This is the gracilis. This also takes origin from the pubic bone and it runs on the medial side and it gets inserted onto the upper medial side of the tibia. And that brings me to an important point here. My assistants have lifted up the sartorius here and the gracilis here. And we can see that both these tendons are going towards the upper medial side of the tibia. These two tendons plus a tendon from the posterior aspect, which we cannot see, called semitendinosus. All these three tendons will get inserted where my finger has disappeared on the upper medial side of the tibia in a tripartite insertion, which looks like the insertion of the foot of a goose. And therefore, the combined insertion of the sartorius, gracilis, and the semitendinosus is called the pes anserinus. And this pes anserinus on the upper medial aspect of the tibia is counterbalanced by the iliotibial tract on the lateral aspect of the tibia, which gets inserted onto the anterolateral tubercle of Jerdy. So this is about the muscles of the medial groove. While we are on this topic, I want to bring your attention to this muscle here that we can see. We can see some of the fibers of the muscle, which are covered by the iliotibial tract, and we can see some more of the muscle here and we can lift up the muscle here. I'm lifting it up. This is the tensor fascia lata. This is the tensor fascia lata between the two layers of the iliotibial tract, one layer and another layer. And this is actually a muscle of the gluteal region, or the superficial compartment of the gluteal region. 
it takes attachment from the outer lip margin of the iliac crest from the anterior superior iliac spine to the tubercle of the iliac crest and the fibers then converge and they get inserted onto the iliotibial tract. So this is a muscle which acts as a medial rotator of the hip. This is the tensor fascia latter. You can stop here now.